Hi friends, welcome to Selenium Automation Testing Channel. So today I am going to explain about uh, interview question. So I attended the interview interviews for companies. So they asked one of the questions. If I search iPhone 12, so here I have got the list of iPhone mobile phone prices like 10,000, 16,000, 10,000, 64,000, 38,000. 48,000, 79,000 like that. So I want to write a Java program where I need to get down the price of the mobile phone, highest mobile phone first. Next I need to get the lowest mobile phone prices. In a sorted way I need to get. For that one I need to write, I want to write a Java program. So that is the interview question they have asked. So now I am going to write on that program. So here I have written the XPath for uh, in the search bar. I have in the search bar I have entered the iPhone 12 as text, and I am clicking on this search bar. So those XPath I have written. In the next step, I am going to write on the XPath for this mobile phone price. So for that one, I'm going to take uh, and tag. I'm going to take span tag and class and attribute and a price is the value. So here I have, uh, I got the 33 mobile phone price. Oh, uh, here I can see, right? So these mobile phone prices, I'm going to fetch in a, I will fetch those values and iterate those values. Next step, I will do sorting. That is my overall agenda. So I'm going to write on the export for that one. So here I'm using find element because uh, I'm dealing with more than one element. So that's why I'm using find elements. So here I have written the for export for those elements. In the next step, I'm going to uh, write on a for loop so that those mobile phone prices, 33 mobile phone prices, I need to fetch those values and iterate those values. Here I'm using get of i because uh, I have taken the i greater than 33. Next it will iterate the values. I'm fetching the each and every value. Now I will uh, run the program and let's see the output. So browser has been launched. So it will enter iPhone mobile phone price and it will search.
so here i have got the list of iphone mobile phone prices you can see that in the next step i am going to do the sorting here i have 59054000 again 59054 56 again i have got the highest mobile phone 64000 so i will write a program where i will get the highest mobile phone 64 first and lowest mobile phone last for that one i will uh, write on that one so i will take an array In that array, I will uh, string array. I will take that, and I will. Uh, I have already copied the phone prices. So here I will copy the mobile phone prices. So here I have entered the iPhone mobile phone prices. So here I have taking the string array I am taking next step I am going to use a so this concept I am going to use arrays dot sort So here I have taken the arrays dot sort method and I have taken the arrays dot two string method because I want to print the values of the arrays. Those are in a string format. So that's why I have taken the this method. So by using this method only I can fetch the value so I can uh, print the values of iPhone mobile phone prices so that's why I have taken this method now I will run this program browser has been launched Now it will enter iPhone 12. In next step, uh, it will get all the fetch of fetch the iPhone mobile phone prices. Next, it will sort and uh, print those values. So here uh, you can see right iPhone mobile phone prices. So 61,000 is the highest, 59 is the lowest, 54, then 39,000, next 10,000. So here uh, this one is repeated twice, that's why it has printed 59,000. But I am getting the in a sorted way. So that is the interview question they have asked. So here I have taken the two string uh, array so in array i am using arrays dot sort method so this is the principle i have followed here so here i am fetching and iterating
so this is the overall about this particular question so i have used for loop now after i have iterated those elements and i have get those values and uh, i have taken in a array so i have taken in a string array again i have taken the arrays dot sort method i have sorted and printed these values so thanks for watching this video